Hey guys, it is Casey here and welcome back to another video. So, no VTuber on this video. This video is going to be sweet, short, sweet, to the point. There has been an image floating around on, on Discord and MSP about email floating around that is a fake email. It is not true. Um, I'm just going to read what it says. It says, Movie Star Planet Discord server. We're excited to announce that we have created an official Movie Star Planet Discord server. Join us to chat with other movie stars, 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 share a laugh about the equality of our games, and discover more fun. Plus, every new member will receive a free month of VIP with their account. Click the button below and join the fun. Do not click that link if you've gotten that email. I know I'm probably like a day late to this. This ad campaign by MSP Retro X Movie Star Planet. And then the link is MSP Retro. And then you can probably tell by my status on Movie Star Planet that I'm saying do not download MSP Retro. I actually made a community post uh, right before I went to work today. I just want to say I have also played Movie Star, uh, MSP Retro for a video a year ago. Um, and I was very sketched out at first. But the reason why I'm saying that it's a virus and people are believing it is a virus is because of this scammy email that was sent out today or yesterday. I'm not sure when exactly what it was sent out, but um, I created a fake email and a fake Discord account over a VPN and I'm going to join the Discord server and just show you all my live reaction everything I will be having screen recording on my phone because my phone is the only VPN right now and yeah I'm actually going to look up the MSP retro website so yeah this is the MSP retro website it's been the same website for like a year now or like whenever it came out like a year and a half ago it's a very basic website it is it does show a little red flags right here it says join our telegram news channel join our telegram chat channel follow us on tiktok what is a telegram news channel what is telegram chat channel i don't even know but yeah this is the big download button to see our reviews on trust pilot so it's trust pilot reviews oh wow this is a review from like two weeks ago this is not recommend owner neglects this game not recommended for your player's game ask yourself do you want to invest in a game with owner neglects the game and leaves everything to a corrupt team of moderators Ooh, yikes there's a lot of cheating game whatever brings you up the owner he'll answer with go to moderators who they'll hand it for you these are the same moderators who are friends with cheaters and, not, and are not objective at all, at all since this have a, a reputation of cheating themselves the owners refuses to help and instead he flags the criticism and agrees he reviews on Trustpilot. The only legal content here happens with his own gain. <laughs> MSP Retro. The only legal content here happens on his own gain on MSP Retro. Please save yourself for the money or VIP. Don't invest money any way possible. Complete scam. I don't know how Movie Star Planet did not flag this game in the first place because Movie Star Planet is copyrighted. The reason why people can make fan games and recreations of older games after they shut down is because they don't they don't charge money you can see this in like other fan made games and stuff like that they are legally not allowed to charge people money for these old recreation of games msp retro is a recreation of old msp that is a known fact they literally have movie star planet in their their title and it's based off of movie star planet i don't know how they have not gotten a copyright takedown or gone to court with this because they are charging people money and yeah it says even about msp retro msp retro is a retro server which allows you to play movie star planet like in the 2010s it says how does the united states i don't know about any other company especially because they're not in the u.s but that's 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 what i know that's what i'm basing my facts off of here that's just odd that this game hasn't been taken down yet Okay, this is a review from around the same time as the other one. It says, to be honest, this game used to be so much fun until the mods defended cheaters, racist, ableist, transphobe who send death threats to players who, who only come out as a concern to their friends on the game. Wouldn't recommend as they ban you instantly if you're against Posh or any of their friends. Ooh, I wonder who Posh is. Wow, these are all, okay. Corruption and utter disrespect. As many others, I've had misfortune of experiencing the same unreliability, di disrespect, unfairness, and ability of handling, handling a disagreement or stressful situation in a professional manner by the current mod team. The strict rule that forbids any type of cheating which is broken has been noticed not by only me, but many other players as well as wrongly bailing loyal 
players customers permanently for steep speaking up and defending themselves throwing around slurs hateful comments to those who wanted to wanted the problem to be solved as well as silencing people who do not agree with their statements i did have an exciting and very happy experience at the beginning of playing this game but i can't admit however this is a very just to actually turn dark in the past couple of weeks that's interesting how very sad to see this wonderful game being dragged by its own downfall by the game game's very own moderator team i do hope it improves with significant changes wow my change of thought i used to play this i used to enjoy this game after everything i've seen regarding slurs being transphobic ableism i changed my thoughts on this game moderation is awfully poor no updates and mods have or so and mods are supporting cheating and exploiting that is interesting because you know who also makes cheats and exploits a little person named dolo I don't want to talk about at the moment just because of everything that's happening um but yeah so you can see all the positive reviews are from 2023 okay one is from early 2024 yeah anyway that was the reviews um anyway now i'm gonna go into the i'm gonna have to get into the uh into the discord server in a second but um it says MS msp retro safe to download yes our goal is to not harm you by putting a virus in this program but you'll get a great experience of playing old msp if you get an alert message from your antivirus software saying not eh, simply because it's not a known program yeah um this has not been updated it says thanks for your support each month we did a hundred dollar usd to a children's charity also 25 dollar usd development of ruffle a flash player emulator polo who is polo i want to go to polo's twitter Sai polo <laughs> You know who also uses that sigh? <laughs> sigh Dolo. We have found him, everybody. This is his latest creation. I don't know. I'm just throwing this around. But Dolo has been a known person that makes exploitations. And he owns a lot. And he creates a lot of cheating and bots and stuff for Movie Star Planet. Um... I have ran into him a very, very long time ago, back in like 2021. But you can tell. All right, this this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm going. So, so you can tell over here he is using cheats to, to you know, debug Movie Star Planet and everything else. Um, it's crazy. Um, I actually don't know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He, he he makes exploits that, that that is what he does for a living is make exploits and makes money off of this crap um which honestly i think is very disgusting but you can tell this is how he uh, it was a, a very short video but you can tell he cheated to level 101 he did this um back in 2021 i'll um i don't actually i don't think i have the video up anymore but yeah it happened back 2021 this was a very 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 crazy hacking that happened but I do believe that Dolo is Polo and he created Movie Star Planet Retro, which I feel kind of bad now about, you know, about joining, about joining the trend of playing MSP Retro. Let's, let's, let's go to this guy's YouTube. Oh, wow. He, he also makes a coins miner, unlimited star coins. Oh, a project for Movie Star Plant generates star coins. Look at the description to learn more. Yeah, these people that use these bots are very, very, very good at trying to hide their um their their username so they don't actually get banned from Movie Star Planet. Um, yeah, he he creates these exploits on purpose. Like like he he does this as a living. Like this is his job to do this, and it's crazy to me. Um, people, I know people are gonna attack me for this video, but. I'm just I'm just trying to keep this community safe, okay? Um, hackers and, and and bots are a really big problem right now in Movie Star Plant just because it's it's crazy. But yeah, you, you could tell he had he got twenty five thousand star coins from using these exploits that he makes. Um, I'm not saying that Polo is the same person as Dolo, but they use the same dang username, <laughs> practically just one letter off. So take it what you will with a grain of salt. But yeah but yeah this is a this is a website so let me go ahead and go over to my phone and yeah y'all i really hope this works um i have a vpn right now on my phone so i'm actually about to go found it i found it oh my gosh five thousand members 
Y'all, I'm so scared. <laughs> I really hope that they don't they don't track my shit. Oh my god. I'm so confused. VIP proof. What the f is this? So I'm just gonna like scroll up and see what happened. And <laughs> someone says I hate MSBRetro.com. Jesus. Oh my oh my gosh. Um Oh my gosh, that's that's awful. I'm so confused. Like I don't so obviously the free VIP is a scam, obviously. But um wait. He's best friends of Dolo. They share this project. Do Polo just took credit because Dolo has a bad name. You were supporting Predos by playing it. Mm. So it is confirmed that that people use bots on MSP Retro. Okay. Oh my gosh. So someone said, I never said a single bad word, a word about Uzexis. It's just Polo's transphobia and pedophilia being weird. Wow. As someone who has been working on MSP Retro, I can say that everything is false. Passwords are encrypted through a safe algorithm. Usernames must be stored. Unencrypted and IP addresses must get picked up and logged by every single website you so shut the fuck up. Damn. So someone said the IP. The IPs are encrypted from Moz. Nothing wrong with logging IPs. Pretty sure passwords are hashed in the database. Nonsense. Sorting passwords on MSP is safer than on MSP itself. So is it a lot of like back and forth lying sh Yo, as someone who worked for MSP Retro, they hold your IPs, passwords, emails, etc. encrypted. Uh, I'll, though I know password database on his laptop, so I'd warn people not to even sign up. Honestly, it was a mess as soon as it came out. Interesting. But like... If people are saying it's false, then like why, then like why did some people get this email? That's crazy to me. So this is some Python um, code right here. Okay, okay, so this is very grainy, but it says, Hi, beloved Exorcist members. Hope your day is going well. Some people say that Miss Puritra is not a safe place that we share your personal information. That's not true. We have never done that and never will. Your personal information remains private. We have been running it for over two years now, and there has never been a slightest critical problem with our data. We'd also like to mention that the owners of Nebula have absolutely no real life skills and have failed to figure out that their own gender found out their own gender are slowly slowing down movie star planet their servers every day using the local bots. My, meanwhile, Miss Puritra has been a successful business generating thousands per month. We hope this, to see many of you there on our retro private MSP server. Feel free to join us at MSPRetro.com. Wow. So they're being like transphobic and shit. That's crazy to me. So, so I found this. It says, nope. Lambo thought it was a good idea to send a email to everyone in the MSP on the MSP system. Someone said I got the email. Someone said, huh, a hacker? Everyone did. They hacked MSP to get everyone's emails. I don't know, everybody. So from what I could see in this server is that. So they're obviously saying it's not, it's not, a, it's not a Trojan bot. It's not like a, you know, it's not a virus or anything. But from what I could see, this game is not a good. It's not. It's not run by good people. From what it, from what I could see, um, the last thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk in the chat and see what what happens. Okay, so I'm asking if MSP Retro is a virus. They have a point. They said, although generally it's quite impressive that they got 5,550 email uh, members for for MSP server. Well, yeah, they, they did spam emailed, so I guess. They're, they're not even answering me. Okay, they're not even answering me. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Okay, now people are just fighting. Um, I th is it that, but is it my sign to leave? I think that's going to be it for the server part. So, some people were telling me that MSP Retro is not a virus. I have no idea if it's a virus. I don't want to download it again to see if it's a virus. But from what I could tell, it runs by some pretty nasty and evil people. So, take that with a grain of salt. I'm going to say this now, before anyone comes at me. Everything in this video is alleged. It is not true, but it's very alleged. 
and take it with a grain of salt because I feel like people are going to tag me for saying what I found. So yeah. Is there anything else I would want to say in this video? Um, I think I signed up MSP Retro with the account that I deleted back in February or the email that I deleted back in February. So that's probably why I never got the email. But yeah. Um, yeah. Just be wary if something is scammy, especially with we have a we have a really big hacking and spawning community in movies you know in movie star planet unfortunately if you didn't know that now you know that it's a very big spawning and hacking community and just it's a whole big mess sometimes so yeah just just be wary on who you talk to and what what links you quit click and, and who you trust but yeah that'll be it for this video i really hope that y'all enjoyed it stay safe out there y'all and yeah um i'll see y'all next one Bye bye